Welcome. In this video, we're going to do an unboxing and look at what's in the Star Realms deck building game Universal Storage Box. So down at the table, I've decided to put all my Star Realms stuff together in one box and look what I found. So on the back, just explaining this box will hold your entire Star Realms collection with or without sleeves with room to spare for future sets and even a play mat. Use included foam blocks to hold your cards firmly in place. High quality plastic dividers included will allow you to separate your cards by set and or have a deck ready to play with dividers for trade deck, explorers, personal decks, and scorecards. For use with the Star Realms deck building game, contents, 15 card promo cards, and token set, and 30 plastic dividers, and six foam blocks. So we'll take the lid off of this and see our storage container. So we've got two full rows and one divided, and of course our six foam blocks to help keep things in place. So we'll see our cards here in a bit and the dividers, take a closer look at the box. So, I mean, it's thicker than your typical cardboard box. Seems pretty sturdy. It's got a little shake to it, but that's gonna be standard. And of course, cards are gonna fit pretty easily in there. And I've already got some sleeved and dragon shields. See how they work. They're gonna be just fine in that. All right, in a close-up look at our promo cards, we have two blob ships, brooders, cost of four, does six damage, put a random pod token into play. Alliability is hatch a pod token. Then we have two recovery max for the machine cult, cost of four, does five damage, and put a card from your discard pile on top of your deck. Then two orbital cranes from the Star Empire. Uh, cost of three, gives us two money, may return a target base to its owner's hand. Ally ability is drawing a card. And we have two embassy transports for the Trade Federation ship. Cost of four, gives us three money. We gain three health, sacrifice, draw a card for each base you have in play. Then all these are normal cards with the normal back on them. Rest of these are gonna have pod tokens on the back. So it's gonna be a base with two health or armor. This card leaves play, return it to the pod token pile. If this pod token didn't come into play this turn, it hatches, flip it over. So that is all the pod tokens. And what we have on the other side is a mutant drone. Acquire a card of cost two or less for free and put it into your hand. This card leaves play, return it to the pod token pile. Got a warrior drone doing three damage. When this card leaves play, return it to the pod token pile. Another warrior drone, another warrior drone, then a worker drone, giving us two money, then back to the pile when it leaves play. Another worker drone and a young queen, draw two cards and then back to the pod token pile. Now our plastic dividers, so very shiny as you can see, very reflective and nice thick plastic. Let's see how far up they're going to cover the sleeves as we put them in the box. Go ahead and put them behind there so we can see how far they stand up. So good height on this. So of course we've got our universal storage box cards, our promos we just looked at, then blank, some colony wars, looks like the same art on both sides, the alignment, alliance, coalition command decks, lost fleet, fleet, the pact, the union command deck, and the unity, then cosmic gambit set, crisis, events, heroes, and our explorer cards, frontiers, gambit set, personal decks, promo set one, just more promos, then for scenarios, your scorecards, the base star realms, stellar allies, trade deck, and then united assaults. We got A for assault, command, heroes, and missions. So that is everything in the Star Realms deck building game universal storage box.
As always, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.